Hi, my name is Alan Grau, and I'm the VP of IoT and Embedded Solutions at Sectigo. And this is one of the videos in our series on IoT device security. And in this video, we're going to be talking about embedded firewalls for IoT devices, why they're important, what role they play, and, and how to go about evaluating and implementing a firewall for your IoT device. Before we get started into that, though, I just want to briefly touch on the challenges for security in IoT devices. IoT devices are unique. There's no one-size-fits-all solution. Many are limited in the resources. They've got a small processor. They don't have a lot of memory. And so you can't run traditional security solutions. And by being located outside of the security perimeter, they're often attacked. And furthermore, IoT devices are solving unique use cases. You know, they may have a very long life. They may be in the field for 10, 20, 30 years. You know, if you're talking about a, a device in the power grid, right, we're looking at a device that needs to last for decades. So we need to build something with very robust security to even meet today's challenges, let alone the security challenges in the years to come. And as we look at security for IoT devices, even though the devices themselves are unique, we're really talking about solving the same security challenges that we would for any type of device. We want to make sure that it's only accessed by authorized users, that it's protected from common attacks, and that we can manage it. It can report security events, we can upgrade the firmware on the device, and so on. One of the things that plays an important role in security for IoT devices is an embedded firewall. So we're talking about a firewall that runs on the device itself, that's integrated into the TCP IP stack of the device. And as we said, IoT devices are limited resource devices, so it's gotta be embeddable. It's gotta be able to work on the small footprint device. And it needs to be able to run on a variety of devices. At Sectigo, we've developed an embedded firewall with the goal of being able to run it on a variety of, of embedded platforms. It can run on really any real-time operating system. It can integrate with any TCP IP stack or ethernet capability and, or, or Wi-Fi, whatever the, the communication mechanism of the device. And it's a small footprint the firewall specifically designed for IoT devices. It's not going to solve the general use cases of an IT firewall, but it works great for a small footprint resource limited IoT device. And it's easy to manage. You can configure and set up firewall rules based upon the needs of the device. And when we look at this, what it's providing is the ability to do a number of different types of filtering. It can do your basic port protocol filtering, you know, static or rules-based filtering. It provides a stateful packet inspection engine, as well as a threshold filtering engine for detecting and blocking certain types of denial service attacks. And it also provides a little bit of deep packet inspection for some specific industrial protocols, such as Modbus. One of the use cases where this firewall is being used is in the automotive space. Vehicles are highly connected and most are now building in a gateway ECU or a communications ECU. Because the communication for the vehicle is all or largely filtered through that specific ECU, it's become the focal point of attack. Now that hackers are attacking that, more security is needed. And one of the components is an embedded firewall. And so we've been working with a number of manufacturers in the automotive space to build our firewall into the gateway ECUs to block unexpected traffic, to be able to report anomalous behavior, and to control what, what packets get forwarded on to other systems within the vehicle. Another similar use case is in the automotive space, or in the aerospace industry. A number of years ago, a very famous hacker tweeted about being able to hack from the guest Wi-Fi, the infotainment Wi-Fi system on an airplane while in flight and actually issue climb commands to change the altitude of the aircraft. By virtue of tweeting about it, he ended up spending some quality time with the FBI talking about this. But I never, even though I, I really looked into this, was never, never able to find any published reports either denying that he had, had launched that attack and was successfully able to complete that attack or confirming it. However, since that time, we've worked with some folks in the automotive or in the aircraft industry to build our firewall into some of these control systems to, again, control and block access from the Wi-Fi network into the control network on those aircraft. 
So Sectigo is a great partner to look at. We've got some robust mature solutions in the embedded space. We've been building software toolkits for IoT devices for over 20 years now and have solutions that are interoperable and can provide a single standardized solution that'll work across all of your products. You can learn more by visiting our website or come back and check again. We're producing a series of videos on IoT device security and we'll have more information on other topics in the future.